Um, I'm head of geography here at Lawrence Sheriff. Um, we have GCSE, we currently still do the AS and we do the A-level. Um, so we use active results um, for a, a variety of different reasons and we use it at a number of different times a year. The main time when we start to use it is in August when the results come out and that gives us the big picture of how, work, how well students have done. Um, so it helps us be able to support the students in that role so that we can make solid judgments on the advice that we can give them. Then after that rush is over, we have a little bit more time to sit down and get into some of the specifics that active results will offer us. And that will provide us a, uh, the ability to improve our teaching. So we can look at it as paper by paper and have we underperformed in a particular paper? Is that because we didn't spend enough time teaching it or we taught it in a slightly different way? and so we can make some amendments to our overall scheme of work and uh, allow us to make some ad adaptions. Um, but they can also start us to look at individual students and why they've underperformed or not and did we put in place the correct intervention. And then finally, it will allow us to look at topic by topic, big picture and see how we did compared to national averages um, and then allow us to identify our strengths are areas where we might need to improve a little bit to support our students and move them forward the following year and make slight adaptations to our teaching practices or exam practice that we do. And then the final thing that it allows us on sort of the micro scale is it allows us to look at individual question types and, and how well students have performed on those individual questions. That's really beneficial because it helps us to further improve our teaching practices and make small changes. For example, did our students underperform on the case study questions or did our students underperform on the, the mathematical skills questions? And that can help us to just make a few small marginal tweaks, um, bringing more of those as a practice into our lessons or incorporating them more into our style of teaching so that we can give students the best possible opportunity to marry up what we're teaching and how we're teaching them, but with what OCR are expecting on the exam and how they're expecting students to interact. And obviously, if we can keep doing that and making those small adjustments and improvements with what active results provides us, then it gives us the best opportunity to improve our results overall and get our students the best possible results for them as well.